Uh, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to go to a place called Night Timber Hill, which is in that direction now, just at the top of the hill there. Uh, we're doing a bit of a recce for a sunrise or a sunset shoot in the next couple of weeks. I've never been here before and we've always eyed it up, so uh, I'll see you up there. Our bushcraft Trev just wants to say a big thanks to Gareth and Zoe for the shout out that he had on on your on your latest video. Great video, by the way. Um, he just wants to say thanks for uh, everything, and uh, he looks forward to his little adventures with everyone who decides that they want to uh, for them to come with. Uh, he's going to come with his own suit, uh, sleeping bag. He'll come with his own tarp or basher and ground sheet and bedroll and everything that comes with it. So. Uh, he looks forward to those little adventures. So thanks very much and we'll catch Trev and Bushcraft Trev later. Timber Hill. There's a fair old slog up that hill. It's a bit of a calf burner, but worth the trip. Plenty of cows and some sheep. Oh, and a goat as well, I believe. But I couldn't capture him, he legged it just as I got the camera out. But uh, yeah, this is my Timber Hill. <coughs> There's a wooded section that covers the whole side of it, the escarpment. We're just having a wander through but it doesn't look like anyone's been up here for a while. I'm guessing it's the footpath which runs from there around to there is all overgrown and it seems to be a new path running this way. But uh, I'm gonna find my way through to get to the top, take some photos from the top over across and we'll see what happens. Beautiful day, it's lovely and sunny. It's not a wisp of wind in the air. Spring is definitely here, that's for sure. Absolutely love it. Also an obligatory hunt for bluebells. And this looks like a good contender, but we'll have to wait and see. So. Beautiful woodland. The fence line that runs here, so it's not very wide. Runs along that side there, but we're on a slight, slight slope, about 10, 15 degree slope, going down towards that way, which is the hill that we've just climbed through. So I'm going to keep walking, get to the top, and see what there is up there. gorse behind me and I've got this scent of like coconut and Caribbean almost you know it's beautiful so we're practically at the top now as we come around I'm gonna head towards that way and sit down and have a drink because I'm feeling a bit thirsty and then uh, there's a section of woods there I might pop into there or pop into the ones that are behind me but um, yeah it's beautiful up here absolutely lovely so 
So here we are, top of uh, Saddleskin, Saddleskin Hill. Apparently it's supposed to be named after that because uh, it's in the shape of a saddle. A horse's saddle. And you have to give me for looking around. So, uh, I spotted a buzzard and uh, tried to get it on film earlier and it just wasn't happening. It's flying over this way, it's flying over that way. So if it comes into shot, I'll definitely grab it this time. But yeah, so uh, this is the shot from Saddlescombe. Well, Saddlescombe is over this way, and New Timber, Night Timber, sorry, is over that way. And the shot I'm going for is the one over Devil's Dyke, which is this way. And I'll show you that quickly now. And it stretches all the way along. Devil's Dyke being that one there. I'll bring it back that way. So, and um. <clears throat> Just trying to get a shot across there and capture the whole of capture the whole of that scene that's over that way. Um, it's a little bit hazy today. It's a big bank of haze just runs right the way across there, right across the uh, the wheeled. But um, we'll see what we can get over this side. Try to I'm going for a vertical panner shot. Um, and capture that scene as it goes right the way across that you saw. Settings are shot speed of 750, F8, ISO 100, and white balance is set to sun. So I'm just going to take a series of shots down from left to right, and uh, I'll pop that up on the screen now. Well, there's two or three buzzards following me. They're just, I don't know if you can see them, but they're just over there. They're just following us as I go through the woods there. And uh, I've got this phone app called Bird Sounds. And on it is a buzzard. That's the call of a buzzard. And I'm hoping that by getting closer, they may hear me. When I was at Camp One and the first time I saw them, they fly high above you and into the sun. So you can't see them as well. Which is uh Awesome to watch because very clever birds. Beautiful birds too. Yeah. We're gonna head this back back this way, gonna head towards the woods, grab a cup of coffee, and then I'm out of here. So I'll leave you now and say thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks to everybody who's subscribed, thanks to all the comments, and thanks for all the thumbs up. Much appreciated. See you guys soon. Bye bye.